how to start valuing your wood more than you value her hot box. In other words, how to start valuing your <laughs> more than you value her. <laughs> now, many men are going to look at this and say, well, Dr. B.O.A. talked like men ain't supposed to want no sex. But you know that ain't what I'm saying. I'm not saying anything of the sort. But what I am saying is men are going to have to stop overvaluing sex as if sex is this, this magical thing that we all can't live without. Like we're going to die without it. Like we're going to, you know, we're going to all commit suicide without it. And the thing is, it's not the fact that we get it. It's the fact that we place more value on the pussy that's attached to a woman that we place on our own that's attached to us. It's almost as if men would trade their woods for a woman's box because we certainly place more value on it. And I know someone's going to say, well, you're just reaching now, Dr. BOA. Yeah, I wouldn't say that now. I wouldn't say that. Well, I'm going to tell you, I would. Now, as you can tell, man, I'm here prepared for surgery. I've washed my hands. I have my scapula. And I'm sure my assistants are in here right now. Shout out to the Mars Squad. See, the number one thing you have to do is stop thinking it's your job to please a woman. This is a fairly recent development where men have set out to make sure they pleased a woman for no other re for no reason. Now, when a pimp got a hold to a woman, man, yes, he he wanted to turn her out sexually, but that's because he wanted to lock her down and put her on the team. You guys want to please women sexually that you not may not even have sex with again. You're not going to get any benefit from pleasing this woman other than telling yourself, ooh, I pleased a woman. Now, I want you to think about what kind of value you must place on yourself in order for that to mean something to you. In order for pleasing a woman to mean so much to you that you'll just buy into that as this positive thing that should quantify you as a man or qualify you as a man or even worse, give you value as a man. I don't really understand what outlook men take when they think about this. I don't really understand what outlook men hope to take. When they go this route. See, let me ask you a question. Everybody, let me ask you a question. How many times have you stopped talking to someone who gave you money every time you saw them? Every time you saw this person, they gave you money. Broke bread with you. Went to my big money. Gave you plenty of paper. Never. You can never say at any time that you just cut somebody off who was giving you money every time you saw them. No possible way you can say it. Now, how many times have you cut a woman off, even though she was giving you sex every time you saw her? How many times has something else besides sex caused you to cut her off, even if the sex was good? How many times has her attitude caused you to cut her off? How many times has her begging, her neediness caused you to cut her off? Probably more than you can count. So when I ask you that, you probably had to get, spend a little time thinking about it. I want you to I want you to be honest with yourself and tell yourself how crazy you feel right now because your answer to that question is plenty of times that you cut a woman off even though her sex was good. So see, the thing is, you don't even value sex the way you think you do. You are caught up in the energy that's causing you to go against your own manhood. You are caught up in the energy that's telling you, give away your testosterone, give away your masculine energy to as many women as you can, and that'll make you a man. You are listening to energies in you that are telling you the opposite of what you should do to be a man, and you're doing it anyway. How do you stop that? First off, the Ola Dodge is real simple, but men treat it like it's a difficult thing because men continue to do it. Stop thinking with your small head and think with the head with the damn brain in it. See, I'm going to tell you something. 
there's a bunch of men who don't need to listen to content about getting women, about getting sex from women. About Many men don't need to listen to that. Many of you men have problems valuing yourself enough to understand that when you give woman, when you give a woman sex, you're giving her a prize. She's not giving you a prize. You're giving her something valuable. And I'm not talking about the sex. I'm talking about the connection with the man, the connection with the manhood, the connection with masculinity. There's no ben there's no, no mutual benefit for you connecting with her femininity. All you get out of it is a good feeling. That's it. And when a good feeling is gone, you notice how your attachment to her is gone when the good feeling is gone? How many times have you have you got done getting it in with a woman and then you told her, come here, baby, let's cuddle? How many times have you heard a man say, man, every woman I get with, man, I tell her, let's cuddle. Cuddling is female shit. She wants to cuddle. Because being attached to you went, meant way more to her than it meant to you. You're done. You really don't want to see it anymore until the next time. A lot of time, man, you get up, man. I tell you, like Ross said, man, Ross say, you know, not even worth a, not even worth a shower. Just grab me a stick of deal. Nigga say he don't even jump in the shower, man. He wash his wood, man, put some deodorant on it, bounce. He don't want to stay no longer. And this is the mindset that we all have. So even when you stay and cuddle with a woman, it's not because you want to. It's because you believe that you have gotten such a great gift and you want to get it again. You want to make sure that whenever you need that gift that that woman just gave you, man, you got access to it. Now, I want you to think about that. How does it make you feel to know that you'll climb a mountain, swim the sea, and fly in a goddamn hot air balloon to the other side of the world just for some sex? And don't say you won't do it because what you do right now for sex is the equivalent of that. Yes, man, get sex with beautiful women, but I'm going to be honest with you. Very few men are having access to nothing but beautiful women. Very few men. And I don't mean an attractive woman, I mean a beautiful woman. Very few men are having access to absolutely beautiful women. It is rare, man. You know it's rare just as much as I do. That's why we rank them and say, okay, it's okay to be with a seven. It's okay to be with a six, an upgradable six. Do women think like that? Now, here we are, the prize. This is what we tell ourselves. We say we the prize. Many men said, I said, you said, we all said, they said, he said, they all, we all said. But when it comes time to act like a prize, we forget what it is because the majority of man doesn't know how to behave like a prize. He know how to treat a woman like a prize. He know how to behave like the recipient of a prize. And that's a little bit different from being a prize. I know a lot of men, you know, you want to be the prize and you want to say you're the prize. You want to do all of these things. But the bottom line is you're only a prize if you represent yourself as a prize. You're only a prize if you represent yourself as a prize.